Intel Core i9-4900KS is very expensive. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 16 and RTX 20 GPUs gain rebirth support. Crucial is launching their DDR5 memory with 12 gigs of capacity for a laptop. And lastly, huge rumors for the GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell GPUs. Alright, so firstly we have video cards that made this article here about the i9-4900KS and, well, the pricing as you can see is right over here, 749. So basically, Micro Center has leaked this and video cards were able to take this screenshot here and as you can see it says 749 currently that information is not available in micro center and if you look into the specs of course it's the same as the i9 4900k but the difference is basically the turbo speed is 6.2 rather than 6.1 or 6.0 whatever you want to talk about and yeah basically the rest of the things remain the same so no change at all basically a heavily bent processor you're looking at but for 749 i feel like it's completely overkill of a price for a cpu like this because you know I, I understand that this is a ks which is gonna be overclocking like crazy uh based on liquid nitrogen or even like normal ai or cooling whatever you talk about but yeah the fact is 749 for this particular model i don't think it's actually worth it and if you uh, if someone buys this i don't know what to say because really 749 i mean yeah nothing to add into that information next up we have something interesting news here from wcc aftag and basically as you can see the clock line says nvidia geforce rtx 20 and gtx 16 touring gpus get unofficial resizable bar support and that is unofficial because it was basically a mod and the modders from the community of course have modded into modded this particular coding here and you can get this particular code in github and you can also modify your particular geforce gtx 20 or 16 series of gpu if you have one of course and well yeah it's kind of tricky process but i guess the tutorial is mentioned right over here so you can check the link in the description and maybe you'll be able to you know check out if you want to do it or not basically what they're using is as an uefi driver and an unofficial one which is known as the nv strap rebar as you can see right over here that's the one that basically that has been modded and now you can basically use it for the rebar support for part of these particular gpus like the geforce rtx 2080 ti the gt710 i am mind blown that gt710 gets the rebar support which is crazy but i don't know why it is added because you know it's it's always gtx but gt710 somehow is included i don't know how also gtx 1050 ti not really a great card but you know you can still use it the rebar support of course so yeah rebar support unofficial one quite interesting that models models were able to do that but nvidia cannot yeah as it's not that's not a bad fact because it's a free performance and they can't even do that interesting next up we have crucial launching or they haven't launched it yet because you know it has been listed on the amazon here on amazon uk and as you can see it says the crucial dram 12 gig ddr5 5600 megahertz for a laptop of course the laptop memory is here for 12 gig ddr5 and yeah that's quite interesting this is the first time we're seeing that and well basically this is quite fast 5600 ddr5 not bad this is the first time they're launching it 12 gigs variant of course probably in future we will have more but we'll see about that but for now crucial has launched this particular model for so for laptop users that's a plus definitely and lastly we have some huge information some juicy information so let's dive into it so basically this is about the rtx 50 series of gpus which is gonna be known as blackwell exactly the ada next is gonna be blackwell and we have some good information so let's look into it so firstly we have copite copite 7 kimi let me correct that has quoted this combined with multiple sources i can confirm the gaming flagship of ada next which is the blackwell will have a 512 bit of memory in memory interface which is quite interesting because andres Schilling has added into this information which is quite interesting you you would love that is that is a 384 bit wide memory interface with correspondingly fast gddr7 would be sufficiently fast meaning that gddr7 will be coming with the rtx 50 series which is a no-brainer of course but he adds that to run or to you know compensate basically it correspondingly we would be requiring 384 bit memory bus with the gddr7 so a 512 bit is unnecessary in a way you should that that is my takeaway from this that a 512 bit memory interface phrase is like an overkill for gddr7 so he asked another question is that the question is what speed is available for gddr7 at the start and copeta 7 kimi replied it's 28 gbps so we also have the speed for the flagship variant and again to that information that i've already added so 512 bit bus is confirmed already for the gb202 basically the flagship of blackwell series of gpus and now the question they're asking video cards here is that there would be no 384 bit g 
GPU and Blackpool family? And the answer is, well, for now, there isn't. Maybe there will be, but for now, there isn't. My guess would be that's a cut down variant of the top of the line. Maybe the top of the line would be 5090 Ti or maybe Titan. That is a possibility because, you know, I, I, I would love to see a Titan series of GPU, but I guess they kind of canceled, but it's canceled it. But I still would like to see a Titan series anyway because, you know, I, I like it. But anyway, let's look into some more information. That is, as you can see right over here, GB203 is going to be 256 bit and GB205 is going to be 192. So my guess is GB203 is going to be the 5080 and the 205 is going to be 5070. That is just a guess. Again, different skews. So that is probably the case, right? We'll see about that. So the information is right over here. So let's do a summary here. So first, we're going to be getting 512 bits of memory interface for the flagship, which is going to be GB202. But under Schilling says 384 bit is enough for GDDR7 with the speed of 280 Gbps. So we'll see if there's going to be any 384 bit memory bus interface included into another SKU. We'll see about that. And the other two SKU we're looking at is a GB203, which is coming with 256 bit and GB205 coming with 192. So quite interesting. We'll see about how things go because now we already start to get these information about the RTX 50 series of GPUs codenamed Blackwell. So what do you think? What SKU will be coming for the 384 one because we already know 512 is going to be the flagship will there but going to be a 384 bit interface we'll see about that and yeah of course thanks for watching